obviously, if you click this video, that means you wanted to hear about my experience with the voice in my audition. And if you don't want to hear me ramble talk on and on and on, I suggest to just exit the video now because all I'm going to do is talk about my audition. I woke up around 3 in the morning and I didn't go to sleep till like midnight because I was that excited. <laughs> mm. So what happened that night was I had this really sore throat and it just sucked. I could barely talk and I felt like if I was, I felt like if I wasn't even ready for the audition but... I still went for it because this is one of my biggest dreams that I want to accomplish and I'm not going to give up just because I had a sore throat. I just kept thinking, wow, I, I, I could never imagine myself being up on a stage singing or I don't know, I like, yeah, I imagine, but I don't know, I felt like I was dreaming because, I mean, auditioning for the voice, like, ah! <laughs> So I got there already. It was already 6.06. Um, I've gotten there before. And then I said, I was expecting way more people. Then again, I got here like half an hour early. No, an hour and a half early. Sometimes you have to wake up early. Okay, so here's the deal. I get, we're driving and we get off the freeway. Um, as we am at my parents and I. Um, we get off the freeway. We're, about, we're looking for the LA Convention Center because that's where the auditions were being held then I go inside with my mom and there is like this religious thing going on inside I'm like is that is this the whole audition like what's up and I I don't know so I talk to security and they're like okay go around the corner and the line for the voice starts there um then I I asked the person in front of that line, hey, what's this for? They're like, oh, it's auditioning for the voice. Are you auditioning? I'm like, yeah. And <laughs> so I went to the back of the line. So, so always, 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 always ask questions if you get lost. Some people are actually nice enough to help you out because there are some people who just want to like boot you out. But I didn't feel the need to dress up for this. Okay, this is Los Angeles and everybody not everyone but a lot of people decided to dress up i mean like literally people had like their hair curled they had pretty dresses on as i'm talking about like females right here they had their high, high heels i don't know they had like caked on makeup um you know some people actually like looked good in a non weird way <laughs> and i don't know most of the people there were dressed up in like either suits or I don't know. I didn't feel the need to dress up because this is called the voice. Not I'm judging you on your appearance and I don't care about your voice. Audition. I don't know. I didn't feel the need to dress up. I just wore simple clothes. So I'm in line and I seriously expected so many people there. Um, there were like I don't know, 100, 150 people in front of me. Then again, I got there like two and a half hours early. But it was it was still dark, considering the fact that I, it wasn't even 7 o'clock yet. It was like 6. And, okay, so it's 7 o'clock, and that's when the doors were supposed to open, right? And I'm like, dude, when are the doors going to open? I've been standing out here in the cold. I haven't eaten breakfast, and I'm so hungry. And when are you going to open the doors? And... Blah, 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 and so, nope, line hasn't moved, come on, I've been in line for two hours, and then I hear people cheering, and I'm like, oh, what's going on, what's going on, and the door is open, so by the time it was 7.44, I was inside the LA Convention Center, but what you do, okay, so while I was walking inside, the Channel 4 News was there, that was really cool, um, they had the camera, they were like shooting people. I don't know, I made this really weird, weird smile face. It was really, really weird. So you go inside, and what I did, I, I walked up some stairs, they check your um, audition pass and your ID and stuff. They check your bags to see if you don't have any, like, weapon, blah, 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 blah. Like, you know those, like, general rules? Then you, sta then you like, keep walking, and they search your, you. So you, like, stand, like... I don't know, like you stand and 
they just like search you just to see if you're not like some bad person. So you keep walking and people like that work there, they show you to another room and in that room you get into another line. So I'm like, oh great, more lines, more waiting. So this line was to, it's called re the registration line. So what you do is um, you get in line and obviously you wait. So when you get there, you show them your pass again and your ID. Since I'm a minor, my mom, she was the only one who could come with me. So she also had to show her ID. We got like wristbands, but I, it would have been really cool if it said the voice, but it didn't. So then you go to the next person and then they scan whatever. And then they're like, okay, you have to get in that line now. I'm like, you're kidding me. So I go in that line. And once it fills up, that they take that line and they go sit them on like a row of chairs and it's still in the same room so this room was huge it was huge so you're sitting down and I'm just like sitting just sitting and the girl that I was waiting in line with her name is Rebecca she's known as Becca in her school I guess um she was like come sit next to me I'm like I can't I can't just cut all these people in front of me like you know like I would I wish I was with you but like I don't want to cut. I remember they started to call out, like, they're like, oh, this group, come with me. And I'm like, oh, shoot, they're going to go audition now. And I just started freaking out again. And there was, in every group, there's 10 people. Yeah, 10 people in each group. And then there may be more because, like, if you have your parents with you, you know, like, your, not parents, your guardian or whatever, I don't know. Um... So then all of a sudden, there's like only five groups in front of me, and I started freaking out because I thought that that was the time when we had to start audition, but I guess not, which, um, we had to go, like, walk up other stairs and more hallways just to get led on to, like, another room to go wait some more. This was already 9 o'clock in the morning, 9.08, so what they do... They have like all like every like they have the whole room filled up so they probably have like way more people in the other room just because they don't have they don't want to have everyone in the same room so what happened is that at what is it, 9 23 a.m they call my group to go um audition and it was time to go audition i was so nervous i kept forgetting my lyrics i sang jar of hearts by christina perry um I was just freaking out. Um, I remember, okay, I remember that I was, I was, I got up out of my seat and I just looked at my mom and I, I was just so happy to actually have the opportunity to, to audition. And so our group, we, we get, we get out of that room and we go like turn the corner and now we're like in some hallway so in that hallway some like security guy checks our audition passes again trust me you need those um they're like oh how are you and so i was i try to be super nice to everyone like super super nice not just like oh yeah hi how are you? like actually super nice and actually mean it because that can give you points but i don't know i hear back in the other room where i was sitting at it was just like turn the corner the doors were open you hear literally like the whole room singing and there was literally like thou like a thousand people in there i don't know there was like a thousand people in there and everyone just starts singing and i'm like okay or, or they can start singing like whatever the security man opens the door to go into that room to where we can audition and it's literally just a small room just a normal room there's chairs you go sit down and so the judge we only had one judge um i got a girl judge she's like okay so for season three two and one of the voice you know obviously there's such amazing singers out there and the bar just keeps getting higher and higher and the bar has been set and you have to break that bar they tell me or not me but like us the group of 10 and we're like yes we can do this blah 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 and then they call, like, name by name, and then they call me. And then I'm like, ah, 
I'm like, no. I'm like, in my head, I was like, no, it's not my turn yet. I'm, I'm freaking out. Let me just blur this in. But no, I, I stood up. And she's like, how are you? I'm like, I'm, I'm great. I am great. I, I don't know. I, I was really nervous, so I just said I was great. I was like, I'm great. How are you? It, I, it probably sounded really sarcastic, which I really apologize to that judge lady. And you get on the X on in the room, and then the. She's like, oh, so what are you going to be singing? I'm like, I'm going to be singing Jar of Hearts by Christina Perry. Or, I didn't say Christina, oh yeah. Um, and I just start singing. And then in the middle of the song, I felt like if my throat was just going to like, I don't know, like, because my throat has been hurting since that night before, I seriously, I don't know if it cracked or like it just got lost, but I don't know. I looked at the judge directly in the eyes because I, I, I was feeling confident, like, kind of believe it or not, I was somewhat confident, somewhat confident, and then at the end of the song, I just started smiling, like, singing while smiling because I, I started to realize that even if I didn't make it, I had the chance to audition and I was just so happy to be there after waiting so long and it was just really cool you know I go sit down then the next person goes the next person goes blah, blah, blah. everyone goes you go sit down and literally like not even a minute later she's like unfortunately none of you made it um I hope this doesn't discourage you from watching the show and and discourage you from following your dreams um, this show is pretty awesome, and you should watch it. She didn't actually say it like that, but, like, she was pretty, like, like, she didn't care if we, like, didn't make it or not. Obviously, like, she's a judge. She needs, she, she has all these, all these people to judge for to see if they make it or not. And then as soon as she said that, my heart broke. I, I felt like crying. No lie. I'm not gonna lie about that. I did feel like crying, but I felt I stayed strong and what happened was like we get let out of out of the room and the security guys like taking off little wristbands and everything and I'm just like I didn't make it I, didn't, I couldn't even get past the first round like I don't know and there was a, a lady who auditioned the 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 season before and she didn't make it this season either so I'm like whoa and then I found out that some people from the school I go to also auditioned um, and I don't know if they made it or not so good luck to them let's see what happens um, so you just you go out and that's the whole audition waiting for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours just to get a no but the, the experience is pretty awesome it was pretty great like if you have a dream even if it's not singing if it's music if it's if it's like chemistry if it I don't know anything just just go for it and if it doesn't work out just keep trying because just because you can't do one certain thing doesn't mean you can't just keep trying and trying to get you know to do it and the girl I met, her, I'll link her Twitter in the description box. She was so sweet. She was really nervous too. She had a really pretty voice, and that's that was that was what that that was like one of the fun parts that you get to meet so many people. Only if you like open up, obviously. Like I was kind of shy. Like no lie. Like I was pretty shy. I'm a pretty shy person when you don't know me. But that was my whole experience on the voice auditions it, it was very very stressful very how do I say it? not stressful I mean it was more like nervous wreck I was a nervous wreck I, I don't know I if you're a viewer and wanted to know more about the auditions then just like leave your comments and I'll try to answer them oh and about callbacks if you get a callback like if you they say like oh yeah um you're in or whatever like for second round they'll give you a red card and um you'll go off to like this other room and probably audition for them there i don't know like, what happens really but that 
it was a really cool experience. I really appreciate it. I want to thank um, my parents, my friends, my family, Edward. I just want to thank you for supporting me. And uh, this is a major, huge shout out to Oak Hills High School's Color Guard slash Pageantry slash Winter Guard team. I don't it's the same. I, it's the same thing for me. But um, I love you. And you guys... You guys are amazing, Winter Guard. Um, you guys are always telling, not just me, but everyone else, to just step it up, go for it, like, never give up, and we got this, okay? So, thank you for watching.